Early next morning, the hunt begins again. This time, their target is neither deer nor bison. The brothers have stumbled upon another kind of prey. One more precious to the long-term survival of their clan. Kidnapping a second adult female, the clan has doubled its opportunities to reproduce, and therefore its chances of survival. The fact that Neanderthals were territorial makes it likely they were male kin bonded, organized around fathers, brothers, and sons. Women were probably transient, moving from clan to clan. To have survived as long as they did, Neanderthals must have exchanged women. Some of these exchanges may have been voluntary. But in such a closed society, it's likely that some encounters were like this one, forcible and potentially violent. The men return to the cave after three days hunting. Their catch is unexpected. Let it go. Let it go. To the dominant female, the newcomer poses a threat to her position in the clan. She must quickly assert her authority. For the new arrival, this is likely to be a terrifying experience. Everything about this clan is alien to her. Their smell, their clothes, their hair. Even their language.